Welcome back guys to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Master Quest where we're on the way to Lon Lon Ranch. Because the girl's dad is just sleeping in my way so I can't infiltrate Hyrule Castle. How inconvenient, eh? People just sleeping around the place thinking they can do what they want. How did he sneak past people anyway? He's like so humongous. You can see him coming like a mile off. How the on earth did he manage to get there without anyone kind of like chucking him out rather than chucking me out? Of course, those guys seem to be really inobservant because I managed to walk right up to one of them and could have stabbed him in the back before anything actually took place. But, you know, to Lon Lon Ranch, due south of Hyrule. Or at least Hyrule Castle, because the whole land is Hyrule. Hit it! Lots of rupees, nice. Another 20 rupees, we can have another go at the Slingshot game, that's great. Because I can't believe I failed it that many times. It's actually really hard to do it with uh, that this control stick, but Lon Lon Ranch. Of course the N64 had the same control stick, so I don't know why I'm complaining. I just suck. Anyway, jars, jars, jars. Lots of rupees for me. Let's find out what's inside. Okay, we're in the stable. And nothing is in Oh, cows. Hello. Moo. Moo. Nothing else, though. Just a couple of cows. Double your rupees. Double the fun. Let's check the other building. And we're full of chickens for some reason. No real clue why there is those chickens. Is there anything hanging in here? No, nothing at all. There are steps to get up though. And a door outwards. Okay, we have ourselves some kind of house then. No one inside, so we'll just nick all the rupees. Because that is the rule of Zelda. Steal everything from every house you visit. And there's some odd box up there as well. I wonder if that's something. Right, so we may as well head into the ranch proper. Hello, Luigi. What? What are you doing hanging around here, you little weirdo? I am Ingo and I mind the ranch. I've been working at this ranch for a long time for that lazy bum, Talon. Today, for example, he's gone somewhere for a delivery and he hasn't come back yet. So I'm doing all the work around here. Well, that's probably what you should do. Oh, well, it's tough to be a working man. Not really, just lazy, obviously. Lazy as hell. Destroy the... Destroy the box. Nothing. Hit the tree. Win. Ow. Did I take a whole heart? That hurts, sir. You destroyed yet another gold sculpture. You got a token proving you destroyed it. Headbutting trees. It's the way to go about life. It kind of was phased out a lot more in later Zeldas, but headbutting trees in Ocarina of Time. Definitely the way to go. Where is the little girl? I expected her to be out here somewhere. Nay! <laughs> The girl completely disappeared. Maybe I've headed to the wrong location, in fact. Hello, horse. You running around? Having fun? That's cool. Doesn't like Talon's having much fun. But we came here and we got ourselves a sculpture anyway. There's something to check out over here as well. If I'm doing the wrong thing, that's just because I have little memory of games. Hello, cows. And some kind of box puzzle, in fact. We can climb it, so we can kind of... Ah, okay, there's secrets. Secrets. Secret secrets. The best kind of secrets. So we need to pull all these out the way. So we can get in that gap. Right, you go over there. That's cool. Actually, I may as well pull this one out. You come over here. Drop down. No. Push. And then we can pull this one out in some way or another. Oh, 
Oh, we can get around there now, can't we? Yes, we can. And there is a secret hole. So we will take it and find ourselves our first heart piece. You got a piece of heart. Collect four pieces total to get another heart container. More containers mean more life energy. So yes, it's becoming ridiculously apparent that I went the wrong way. In any Ocarina of Time fans are probably thinking, Oh my god, how could he have done this? But all the same, we went, we saw, we got ourselves a heart piece. That is pretty good work for me. It means we don't have to explore back here next time we're here. And this massive expanse of absolutely nothingness. So it's time to head back to Hyrule Castle Town because whatever we're doing is probably there and if my memory has now been slightly jogged, it might be that the girl herself is now at the front of the gate waiting for someone to infiltrate. So time to head all the way back. Personally I thought she'd be waiting there and I nearly got run over by a horse, that wasn't good. But yes, the trip proved successful in the way that it got me lots of nice goodies. And that is always what we want to see. Now back to Hyrule Castle Town. At once. Of all speed and hopefully not causing it to be nighttime. Quickly. Roll Link, it is the way you get around fast. Ha, huh, all you like, but every Legend of Zelda fan knows that rolling is the way to go. There is no such thing as walking in Zelda, only rolling. If you're walking Zelda, you are but a noob. Right, so breaking in at last. It's turning to night, I think, or at least it's getting a little bit darker. We could have gone up and seen if we could get the extra 20 rupees again. We're now well equipped to play the game yet again, so that's cool. But to be honest, I'm looking forward to finding the woman, the little girl. I think personally, She's back out here. If I'm wrong a second time, then that's going to go really down well. Indeed she is. Are you going to the castle, fairy boy? Would you mind finding my dad? He must have fallen asleep somewhere around the castle. What a thing for an adult to do, tee hee. Oh yeah, if you'll look for him, I'll give this to you. I've been incubating this egg very carefully, tee hee. Okay, you got a weird egg. Feels like there's something moving inside. Set it to C, see what happens. On the select items subscreen, you can set it to and use it with left, down, or right. So this becomes like this really odd point now where we want the egg to incubate. We want to hatch ourselves an egg. So it's not going to be for a while yet. It looks like this item doesn't work here. So I think we just actually have to wait. Set the egg to C to incubate it, hee hee. My dad is really troublesome for an adult, isn't he? Hee hee. Stop saying hee hee. So in the meantime, we're going to set it to see and incubate it. I don't know if we have to be outside or inside. But we may as well have another shot at the game. Hello, sir. We've been doing random stuff this episode instead of actually getting on with the storyline because I went the wrong way because I'm an idiot. Okay, this is a game for grown-ups. Hyrule's famous shooting gallery, we know. We don't want to blah blah blah, yes. The B button, it worked. Man, that was terrible. First shot was bad, this is all gonna go wrong. Alright, up and down. Good. Okay, we got the blue rupees. Oh no, I missed that one! Oh, this is terrible. I was just slightly too low, and that's why I've messed this one up. Almost! Yes, give me another try! Three tries, three tries are good. Yes, we, we're gonna do it this time. I promise ye. One. Okay. So, I hate the controls for this. Ah, oh, two. Okay, now we got two blues. One. Oh, that was perfectly on. There we go. Two. And then the reds. Okay, there's two. And where we go. Wonderful. Bravo. Perfect. Here's a fantastic present. We got a Deku Seeds bullet bag. This bag can hold up to 40 slingshot bullets. Is there any extra prize you can give me? Do you want to play a game? No, we don't want to play again. 
Hey, there's an extra prize to get, guys. Just tell me. That'd be great, and we'll head back here and get ourselves yet more prizes, more goodies. But we're off to incubate an egg. And so that means we're kind of going to have to dilly-dally. Dilly-dally, shilly-shally, and all that. I don't know how long this egg takes to grow, or incubate, I should say. I don't know whether we should go to Hyrule Field, or just hang around out here. Because if we go to Hyrule Field, we could go check out some places like we did with London Ranch. There's something to check there, but we can't yet. Something to do, but we obviously don't have the thing or the item to do it with. So as night comes along... Hey, hey! hey. The girl from the ranch asks us to find her father. I wonder where he is. We know, Navy. Even though we went the wrong way to find the girl, we know where the father is. We're kind of lucky on that kind of respect. Let's go up this way, make sure to dodge them all, turn left, follow the path, over to the climbing bit. Rupees! No rupees! Thankfully no demons either of the night. I guess skeletons don't really want to appear near royal ground. So I'm hoping and praying, if anything, that this egg kind of hatches when we reach daytime. So I don't know what time this is at the moment. Let's have a look. It is 1.26, the time is going slowly. The time is slow indeed, but let's jump in again, see if we can get any more rupees for our troubles. Because man, I always love rupees. More! More! Oh, we can't go that way for more rupees. You're just being harsh now. This is not fair, I like rupees. Daytime comes, but will this egg hatch? That's the real question right now. Look, a chicken hatched from the egg you were incubating. It's the miracle of life, and with that said and done, the miracle of life will now provide another miracle. What in tarnation? Can't a person get a little shut-eye around here? You need to go back to see your daughter, sir. Hello, and who might you be? Yep, I'm Talon, the owner of Lon Lon Ranch. I went to the castle to deliver some milk, but I sat down here to rest and I guess I fell asleep. Okay. What? Malon was looking for me? I'm gonna catch it from her now. I messed up bad, leaving Malon behind to wait for me. She's really gonna let me have it. You have massive arms. Aren't the guards gonna kick your ass? I know you were here to do a delivery, but still. He's finally out the way. So with the fail start of the episode, where we went completely the wrong direction, it's fine because we got a heart piece and scotulas for our troubles. And a DQC seed bag for the money we got. So it works out in a different way. We now aim to get across. And the only way we can do that is with lots and lots of boxes. Boxes are the path to victory, don't you know? Because of course we can't jump that, we're gonna have to make ourselves a little bridge. Box puzzles are the essence of Zelda. One more way to go. I wish Link could speed up the pushing bit. Come on, Link. Put your shoulder into it. Go on. Do it. And we're up high enough now that we can make the jump. He says, hoping that he actually makes the jump. So, the castle courtyard it is. And this provides troubles of its own now. We can't leave the door here, and as you can see, it's now turned into a kind of a side scroller game because there are guards. Guardy, guardy guards. And we're gonna have to dodge them. Probably by going around this way, actually. He's probably gonna stay on the. No, he's not staying on the path. Right. Right, let's go, let's go. I'll just shout out loud. It won't, it won't acknowledge me shouting, it's fine. Well, you guys were easy. Okay, I can get rupees from you, but there's also not really any point. You are getting faster, that's for sure. Right. With my crazy, terribly bad platforming, will I make it across this? I didn't make it across the bridge at Kokoke. Forest, here we go. 
These guys are going to be a bit more slow about it, and I could... No, I can't go now, because he's going to come around this way. Okay, we're going to be waiting for a little while. La 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 la. Ten years of waiting. Now, you need to head upwards, sir. Not left. If you're heading left, then we're going to have to be directly behind you. So when this guy moves, we're going to have to move. Because this guy's going to come down, and now we're stuck. We head down this way so he doesn't see us, and we're through. He says until we get to the next part. Are there guards? Aren't there guards? Guardy guards? Ah, yes there is. Well, you're both going that way, so that's fine with me. I'm going this way. Excuse me. Oh, don't bash into things. As we head through... To somewhere very special. Who could this be staring into the window? Hello? What's going on? Who? Who are you? How did you get past the guards? Oh, what's that? Is that... A fairy? Then are you... are you from the forest? Then, then, you wouldn't happen to have the spiritual stone of the forest, would you? That green, shining stone? Do you have it? <laughs> Just as I thought. I had a dream. In the dream, dark storm clouds were billowing over the land of Hyrule. But suddenly, a ray of light shot out of the forest, parted the clouds and lit up the ground. The light turned into a figure holding a green and shining stone, followed by a fairy. I know this is a prophecy that someone would come from the forest. Yes, I thought you might be the one. Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away with my story and didn't even properly introduce myself. How rude. I am Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. What is your name? Ollis. Strange, it sounds somehow familiar. Okay then, Ollis. I'm going to tell you the secret of the sacred realm that has been passed down by the royal family of Hyrule. Please, keep this a secret from everyone. Okay, in big capitals. Legend goes like this. Three goddesses hid the Triforce containing the power of the gods somewhere in Hyrule. The power to grant the wish of the one who holds the Triforce in his hands. If someone with a righteous heart makes a wish, it will lead Hyrule to a golden age of prosperity. If someone with an evil mind has his wish granted, the world will be consumed by evil. That is what has been told. So, the ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the Triforce from evil ones. That's right. The Temple of Time is the entrance through which you can enter the sacred realm from our world. But the entrance is sealed with a stone wall called the Door of Time. And, in order to open the door, it is said that you need to collect three spiritual stones. And another thing you need is a treasure that the royal family keeps along with this legend. The Ocarina of Time. Did you understand well the story I just told you? That's great! I forgot to tell you. I was spying through this window just now. The other element from my dream, the dark clouds, I believe they symbolize that man in there. Will you look through the window at him? Can you see the man with the evil eyes? That is Ganondorf, the leader of the Gerudus. They hail from the desert far to the west. 
Though he swears allegiance to my father, I am sure he is not sincere. The dark clouds that covered Hyrule in my dream, they must symbolize that man. What happened? Did he see you? Don't worry. He doesn't have any idea what we're planning, yet. Yes. I told my father about my dream. However, he didn't believe it was a prophecy. But I can sense that man's evil intentions. What Ganondorf is after must be nothing less than the Triforce of the Sacred Realm. He must have come to Hyrule to obtain it. And he wants to conquer Hyrule. No, the entire world! Ollis, now we are the only ones who can protect Hyrule. Please. I don't believe you is such a harsh answer. Thank you. I, I am afraid. I have a feeling that man is going to destroy Hyrule. He has such terrifying power. But it's fortunate that you have come. We must not let Ganondorf get the Triforce. I will protect the Ocarina of Time with all my power. He shall not have it. You go find the other two spiritual stones. Let's get the Triforce before Ganondorf, uh, Ganondorf does and then defeat him. I was going to say Ganondorf. Because Triforce, it was in my head. I was going to say Ganonforce. One more thing. Take this letter. I'm sure it will be helpful to you. You received Zelda's letter. Wow, this letter is Princess Zelda's autograph. Set it to C and show it with C. On the select item subscreen, you can set it to, well, left, down, or right. You know, the usual blah, 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 yakety smackety. And here we go! We can speak to Zelda one more time. My attendant will guide you out of the castle. Don't be afraid to talk to her. My problem with the speak the blubber, the blooming text being so slow makes me trip on my tongue. And therefore things pop in my head like Ganon Force. It's so ah, uh, I wish I could just skip the text like another Zelda's, but that's like a later game convenience, you could say. But we're here at the end of the episode, we finally infiltrated the castle. We met up with a princess. We saw a really evil man who has gone from the window now and no longer kneeling, obviously talking to the king. And we now have our mission set out before us to find the two remaining spiritual stones. So join me for that. I will see you guys around. Thank you for watching. Cheers. Bye bye.